All right. <clears throat> Here we are again. Sorry again. I'm going to try to do my best with the camera work. Um, first thing I want to do with this is we need to you know locate engine components and know what they do. Um, it's that simple. Um, fortunately, the LT1 and the LT4 don't have too many, so we'll get started. Uh, right here, this is your intake air temp sensor. Detects the temperature of the intake air. Seems pretty self-explanatory. Two-wire sensor. It is a thermistor, and we'll discuss how to test thermistors at a later date and time. Here we have your throttle position sensor, non-adjustable. It's a three wire. It's a three wire connector. Uh, you have a five volt reference, a ground, and a signal wire. And it is a simple potentiometer. You test all potentiometers the same, and we'll get into that later. Obviously, we have exhaust sensors. Uh, exhaust sensors. Jeez. Uh, oxygen sensors down the exhaust. You're not gonna be able to see them from here. Um, they generate voltage in the presence of exhaust in oxygen, and create a voltage which we can read on a scan tool or if we back probe into the ECM we can read it there as well. Obviously we have our injectors. Um, that's an output however. I want to talk about inputs first. Um, map sensor on the speed density system. This is the guy. Has big influence over what happens with the engine. Um, it's a three wire sensor. You have again 5 volt ref ground and a sensor wire. You're going to hear me say that a lot about 5 volt reference. Uh, there's an awful lot of circuits that have a 5 volt reference. Um, down in the abyss down in here we have our opti spark, a harness for it. You can see that connector is right here, 4 pin. Also you can te make testing easy. You can test right up here on the side of the passenger side of the intake manifold, no problem. Uh, and this is the opti spark connector. I recommend doing it here. It's a lot easier. Um, you may want to test down there occasionally. The Opti Spark is used for fuel control and for ignition control. Um, it's more, it's especially important for 94 and up engines that have sequential fuel injection. The uh, 92 and 93 LT1s use a batch fire. It, fi it fires a bank at a time. And uh, you can clearly see that if you look at the ECM wiring diagram. Uh, they're ground side switch. They supply constant 12 volt power and the ground is cycled on and off by the ECM. I'm going to proceed to the other side of the car and uh, we'll continue over there. However, I left one thing out. We have our ignition control module right here. You can see the connector for it. The module is right there. Make sure you use the correct thermal grease behind those if you replace them. It's a four pin and we'll be discussing that later as well. The coil is also right here as well. Up front, you'll see another thermistor, your engine coolant temperature sensor. Again, two wire. And uh, if you know anything about LTX C4s, they have two sensors. They have this one and also one on the side of the engine. And I can't remember which one's the ECM, which one's a gauge. I think the one on, in, right here at the pumps, the uh, gate, excuse me, is the ECM. And I believe the one on the side of the block is for the gauge. I'll have to look that up to be 100% sure. But th that's an important sensor as well. Please ignore the fan in the background, it's just my wood stove going here. On the driver's side of the engine, we don't have too many components. Um, obviously, you know, another component, ASR, our AIR pump is down here. Uh, these tend to be fairly reliable, it seems like. I don't see too many posts about them. Uh, but it, you got to keep it in mind because, you know, it can affect certain system operations. Uh, I'm trying to remember if I'm missing any sensors here. I really don't think I am. At least no major sensors as far as engine control goes. Can't think of them. I think we hit all the main inputs. Obviously ignition's an input. I think that goes without saying. At this point what I'm willing to do first is um, we'll set up a video here with cranking vacuum and running vacuum. I'm also going to put my fuel pressure tester on this so I can kind of combine tests um, to A, be efficiently, and B, not beat up on my car so much, starting and shutting it off all the time. All right, see you in a second. 